All right, guys, we're doing another Indiana Jones adventure series, build an artifact, Major Arnold Todd. I'm your boy, the Nintendo, and this is Hasbro action figures, plastic free packaging. Let's freaking go, buddy. Attention. I don't really, I can't read all that, but here he comes with the piece. Comes with a mounted face, got a fucked up hand. Here is our figure on the back of the box, looking real dapper as usual, you know. Oh, helicopter. Raiders of the Lost Ark. You know what it is. We have the whole set. I, you know, it's been taking a few weeks, but we have it all, and uh, we're all, we're almost we're almost at the we're almost at the end. I know none of y'all really like these videos because they don't get a lot of views, but you know what? It's for the love of the game at this point. It's for the love of the game. So let's not waste any time. Let's go ahead and just crack this bad boy open and get straight to it. All right, per usual, we're gonna do the accessories first. So we're gonna look at the build the artifact pieces. Here's a, one of the walls, solid gold. Here's another wall. Looks really nice. Sorry, I was reading a message that someone sent me. And he comes with this extra hand right here from when he gets burned by the talisman, the Staff of Raw. Really nice. You can actually see the little staff of raw pieces in there. The light's a little bad, but you can see it. It's pretty nice. Comes this little pit. Oh, comes. Oh, oh god, everything's falling apart. Comes with a little pistol, a little Mauser, because, you know, German soldier, whatnot. German guy. Not the most detail on it. It kind of looks cartoony. This side has a little bit more detail. You can see all the little knobs and switches and whatnot. This side, like, has, like, nothing really going on, except for, like, the bottom. Then, everyone's favorite, his melting face from when he opens the ark of the covenant i really like that they added this like it's a little grim and scary but at the same time it's really goofy looking like that shit looks terrifying but at the same time it's just, when you watch it in, for the first time ever as a kid you're just like oh my god that's so crazy but in watching it now it's like oh that's kind of kind of goofy old effect but it's still effective you know it looks that looks gross man like i would not want my face to melt off like that but let's go ahead and get into the figure. All right, and here is our boy, Major Tot, out of the packaging. And he's pretty cool. He's pretty cool. He's got his trench coat that he doesn't wear all the way. But it is removable, so we can take this off. Let's go ahead and look at the trench coat. Kind of reminds me of the Kylo Ren joint when you, um, in the second movie. Where it's like you could throw his cloak over him. Pretty nice detail. You can see the belt and everything. Doesn't really make sense that the belt doesn't, um hang or nothing it's kind of just there i don't know if that's how it is in the movie but yeah it doesn't really make sense to me because i feel like the belt should be hanging um the arms look good yeah leather leather thing and here is our boy the hat is removable so let's look at the hat real quick you see a little a little bow tie on the side a little bit of a defect like where they peeled it off or whatever that's pretty cool and then let's take out the hat Bink, and my boy is bald as fuck. No wonder he hella mad. But his glasses wrap around his ears. You can see his little pupils inside the, uh, his little, in it, behind his glasses. A little smug little smirk. He's got a bit of a smirk. Like, he's kind of like, hmm, you already know, Fraulein. I'm going to fucking kill you. He's got a little button right there. Nice little striped tie. That's a really nice little detail. Uh, those guys' his little buttons suit he's all suited up all in all black his boot his feet let me see his feet he's got nice little shoes on nice little detail on the shoes you can see the little stitching right there across the toes heels look good you know he's got that crease of course because you can't walk out without a crease man the guy got the brand new dickies on why he's like shit i gotta work comfortably he's got black gloves on a nice little uh wrist so that's pretty cool pretty pretty decent figure i mean like who the hell gives a fuck about this guy honestly if you don't never seen the movies obviously like this guy's just a random weirdo freakazoid but he could be like a little mob boss too you could have him like part of the mob like if you have like the um mob characters he could be just hanging out just like part of the background a little bit maybe some kingpin joints if you have some kingpin figures he could just be like hanging out in the background like Doing his own thing, watching some wrestling or something like that. Not bad. I ain't, I ain't mad at it. I guess let's go ahead and deal with the articulation. So my man looks up a little bit. 
it looks like his neck he's got the he's got a neck joint but it's hidden by the um the collar which is actually kind of nice i kind of like how they did that so it looks up but if you pull it back it goes up a little more you see how it kind of bows out a little bit when i do that that's pretty neat actually i'm kind of digging that so it gives them a little more range of motion and it's kind of hidden underneath the tie and collar so that's cool i like how they did that i believe he has a butterfly joint back there i can't really tell it looks like something does shift back and forward, but I I could be just be breaking my figure out. But I do believe it is a butterfly joint. But arms go up about that much, rotate around like that. Um, single jointed elbows, of course. What do you expect from Team Star Wars slash um, Indiana Jones now? Does rotate at the elbow, so that's nice. Uh, wrists are on that ball peg, kind of like SH figure arts. So they do not go up or down on a hinge. They are more of like a like a this. I just rotate around. Um, no ab. I mean, I believe it's in there somewhere, but it ain't. It ain't going nowhere. You know what I mean? It does he can rotate at the waist barely? Really tough. I ain't trying to break my figure. Legs go up about that much. They are hindered by the suit. They go out about this much. Not really too hindered by the suit, but it does. Got that thigh cut. Single jointed knee. We got that Michael Jackson knee bend. What you on, everybody? Uh, foot goes up, but not really because mine didn't want to. Goes down. Sorry. Goes side to side. You know? I, Fraulein, you drinking my last uh, chocolate milk. All right. And you already know we don't really have a lot to compare these guys to because they're some pretty new line. So here he is with some Avengers. We got the shorter teenager kind of people. Spider-Man, Ms. Marvel. And then we got the taller adult we got a uh, captain america because you know he's kind of a nazi and then we got a uh, kate bishop hawkeye girl hot girl hot girl because she's hella sexy i mean like hayley steinfeld call me you know uh, i wouldn't really say these characters match necessarily but hasbro with the hasbro we got the lightning collection with the adventure series you know just want to compare and contrast with other um other figure lines well not figure lines but other brand lines with the same company you know you know what I, you know what i'm trying to say and then for no real reason i'm just busted out a couple of the guardians real quick mantis and uh star lord and this is how i'm keeping my star lord by the way i'm keeping him like this with the helmet on i think he looks way better with the helmet on he doesn't look bad without it on obviously but you know this is like that's hitting my geek spot he's, he's making me geek right now and then we got a couple of Star Wars people. He's actually kind of short. Let me see. Let me bust out somebody a little bit taller. Tarkin was. Eh, you know. I don't know. I'm just busting out bad guys at this point. You know. That look pretty cool. I mean, I don't know why, how you would get him fudged in there. But, you know, sky's the limit when, you, when you're creative and you got, you know, a brain. All right. And then here he is with the rest of the figures from the line thus far. That I have at least. Um, yeah, they look pretty good next to each other. He's kind of shorter than Indy, a little bit taller than the girl, not as tall as Salah. He fits in perfectly. He's a great villain. I mean, not really a great villain. He's kind of a dick, kind of a loser. Kind of gets screwed over pretty hard, but I mean, you know, that's what happens when you're a bad guy. You Bad things happen to you, you know? But yeah, they look great. Final thoughts on this guy. Yeah, I'm still kind of all in on the Indiana Jones figures. I'm not going to lie. I think that they're a great line. You know, I've been waiting for them for years. You know, something I didn't know I wanted. I mean, I did want an Indiana Jones figure. I was always like, you know what? If i am got money, one day I'm going to buy that SH Figure Arts or that imported one. Whichever one it was, I forgot. There is like a over $100 one that's really nice. But, you know what? This is a, These are affordable and they're coming out with all the characters you know and love. And this first wave pretty good i can't wait to get my hands on the second wave at this point you're probably wondering should i get this guy if you're collecting all of them it's a no-brainer if you only care about like main characters like the the guy and the girl indiana jones and marion i would just get those two you know it's not really that big of a deal to get them all if you don't have to if you don't feel the need to i understand but i need villains for my indiana jones and boy right here let me tell you something villain so yeah i think he's great I, I, I mean, he's not the best figure of all time, obviously, but, you know, he's cool to stand in as a villain behind my indie when uh, I get my display going. So, yeah, you guys make the, the the hard decision yourself. You know, you're an adult. You got to get up. You got to pay your bills. 
You gotta pay your bills, wipe your butt, buy some figures in that order. But other than that, I got nothing else to say other than you guys have a beautiful day, have a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you in the next one. Deuces. High five. High five.